Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Wednesday. It is late morning. It's 11.56 or 57 now as I'm recording this. I hope the day is treating you well. You're looking after yourself. Uh, if the day is not treating you well, don't worry. There's always tomorrow, all right? I promise you, it will get better. Sun is out as well, so that's a little something something. And uh, I've, I've already been to the gym, so I'm a happy guy. Uh, in this video, though, we're talking Emerson Rao and, well, potentially the interest of him leaving Spurs as well as Ben Davies. So I want to talk about both of those in a bit of detail and kind of maybe not predict the future, but kind of kind of just put it out into the ethos, into the atmosphere, what might the summer look like when it comes to some of the purchases of players. So plenty to get into, plenty to talk about. Just want to say though, if you're new, give a subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. I hope, by the way, as well, to be uploading a little bit of career mode over the next few days. Apologies, it's been a bit delayed. Um, I've just been busy. Shoot me. But anyway, let's jump in. Let's talk, uh, let's tell Emerson Rao. I think that's where I'm going to start first. So it came from Football Insider who said that Spurs will tell Emerson Rao he is free to find a new club this summer and will accept an offer of around 20 million for the Brazilian international. Brazilian international. Do they have no other fullbacks? Take me. Take, I will play for Brazil. All right. We'll do an ancestry tree and we'll go through back generation after generation. After generation. There must be some Brazilian in there somewhere. Um, look, if I'm honest, this is the right decision. I think. I think we can like Emerson. We think he's a good guy. He he works hard. He tries his best. He's just not up to the level. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. That guy could play in the top five league. Not an issue. That guy could play in the Premier League if, you know, for a team that's a little bit further down. Just purely because we're a team trying to be a top team. We're trying to be a team that fights for trophies, top four every year, and trying to fight further up on that league front. He's He would never be it. If you know what I mean, you know, what you see is what you get with Emerson. And, you know, yeah, good vibes, good character, good dressing room guy. But I think we've seen over the last couple of weeks, it's not been good. And, and I know people kind of go, but he's playing left back. That's not his natural position. OK, OK. But also as a, as a fullback, you know how to defend on one side as well as the other. When it comes to defending the back post, it doesn't matter what side you're on. You should just know how to defend the back post. And we saw it, we just saw it, that he's just not switched on enough defensively at the back post. And I think people kind of look at the time where we played four fullbacks at the back and, you know, oh, Emerson was decent, Emerson was this. We weren't very good, though, at the time. So I think our expectations were a lot lower. Whereas now, when we've got a bit of a fitter squad, our expectations are for Emerson Rail to actually just put in a semi-competent performance and he's not anything close to that. We need to move on. And I think Ange is kind of... With his comments recently, I don't know how you guys feel about this kind of idea. I think he's preparing us all for what could be a very big summer in terms of incomings and outgoings. I think he's kind of preparing a lot of people to kind of say, look, there's going to be some people leaving that maybe you don't expect. But I'm doing it for the greater good. I'm doing it for the long term future at Spurs. And if that's the case, I'll back him. You know, you give the manager what he wants. You know, I think we've had managers in the past that we've not given them enough of what they've wanted. Probably some of them we've given too much of what they wanted, um, but like he's putting it out there. He's putting he's putting a little bit of pressure on the higher ups to kind of say, look, you. I mean, Daniel Levy just wants top four football because obviously money, but he's probably looking at it and going, well, if you want top four football, you've got to get rid of some of this rubbish because it's not happening. Villa are better. Newcastle will be better next year. United should be better next year. Um, Chelsea. Uh, starting, to, starting to sort of turn that corner now with a good number nine they're probably in and around us right now um, Arsenal, Liverpool, City obviously better than us at the moment as well so you kind of got to look at it and go you've got to spend some money if you even want to stay afloat let alone go up and if we want to go up we've got to, we've got to shift off players we just got to get rid of players that have been here too long who have just not been good enough Right, moving on to the other side, the left-back side, and it's to Ben Davies, again from Football Insider, who said that Ben Davies is set to be surplus to requirements this summer. The defender is a big influence in the Spurs dressing room, but time at the club is now up. Ange Postecoglou is playing a huge overhaul to his squad. And I did take something down on my phone earlier, 
I forgot to get it up on here, so apologies. It's from Ekron Gnois. The two clubs from the Premier League have been linked with Tottenham's 31-year-old Wales defender Ben Davies. Now, look, who they are, I think we don't know. I think, look, let's just wait till the end of the season to see who stays up, because I think, depending on who stays up, maybe they're interested, you know. You could easily see a team coming up being like, oh, I'll tell you what, Ben Davies at left back. He's probably good. He's good enough to be a mid-table left back. He would he would give us a couple of years whilst we look for another left back, and you know we don't have to worry about him. He's a professional. He's going to come in, do his job, blah blah blah. I can see, I can absolutely see Ben Davies still being a Premier League player after this season. I just don't see it being for us. And and by the way, again, there's nothing wrong with saying that. Good character, good guy, true professional. But there's always a time and place to kind of say. It's time to move on now. We need to be better at that because there's certain clubs in and around us who are great at it. And look at them. Look at them for it. Look at look at Liverpool. Jordan Henson. James Milner. Those are two guys who are, you know, massive part of, of the, the, the time they had under Klopp. Moved them on. You know, so... Teams do it. Teams move on from guys, even though they are key figures within the squad in terms of, you know, dressing room and things like that. We need to be better at this as well. And I think with Ben, like, we all like Ben. There's not... We have no issues with Ben. We have no issues with Emerson. But if we're going to get, let's say, 25 to 30 million for them, I'm kind of looking at it and going, uh, yeah, do it. And replace them. Unless you've got like, don't worry, if there's a guy coming up through the system that you go, that's a damn good fullback there. We we could use him next year. Fine, I'm 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 on board with it. Give some youth an opportunity. But if not, replace them. Yeah, it's gonna cost some money, but for the long run, if you can get a couple of guys that are gonna cost 40 million, 50 million, for the long run, you're gonna have them for four, five, six years or whatever. You know, you can't look at it and go, that's that's smart business. If it means this summer we spend a bit more because we're selling off so many, then fine. It makes sense to, you know, to move off of Ben Davies, Emerson Royale, Pierre Hoybierg, you know, maybe it's the Celso, Brian Hill, Manuel Solomon, the guys out who are out on loan who won't be playing for us. Move them on. And I've always had the mindset of, oh, you know, don't get get one of those free guys and send it back. I'm now the mindset going, yeah, but if you can go at Calafiori, I know a few of you are going to be happy that I've even mentioned his name again, because if you if you, if you think I have the pull, by the way, you have a pull. I have a pull that can sway Spurs into moving people. Look, if I had that, that would be impressive. But I don't. All right, I'm just a, just an ordinary guy. Um, but if Calafiori is the guy, you go and get a right back. You go and get a left back. I, I I still quite like the idea of maybe a Patrick Dorgu. Maybe I don't know. We'll see on that one. But if you kind of go, look, we're going to get three guys. They're going to cost sixty to seventy million. Fine. But that means defence is sorted. You know what I mean? And if you're selling Emerson for 20, you're selling Ben for 10, you're selling Joe for 15, Tanganga for 10, that's sorted. You're covered. Move on. You know, you've got your ins and outs and you still can sell Regulon. You can still sell other players in that area. You know, you're still going to loan out guys for next year. Then you go, like, midfield, right, where are we at in this midfield lark? Which, by the way, I do have an update coming on midfield and a bit more on defence in my next video, so don't worry. A few of you have asked. Um, you know, in the midfield, you're moving on from Pierre Hoybjerg. You're moving on from Giovanni Celso. You kind of go, well, Lucas Bergvall's going to come in. Great. He's half of what Hoyberg's going to be sold for. Pardon me. You know, then you kind of go, right, where are we going next? What are we getting next? And before you know it, you can probably get through the defence in the midfield without having to actually spend any net money. You'll spend money, but net money is what I mean. You spend gross, but net is obviously the actual spends. Then in the attack, you kind of go, look, we're going to have to go a bit bigger here. But if we spend, you know, big sums of money, it doesn't matter. We already make so much money anyway. Travis Scott's in here now as well. Can he play a left back? But anyway, we'll see. Anyway, guys, then if you hope you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comment section your thoughts and feelings about Emerson, about Ben Davies, my thoughts and feelings about what Angie's been saying. You know, the the idea of how I would go about rebuilding maybe the defence in the midfield. I want to know thoughts things about all of that. Obviously, if you are new, subscribe. You very much welcome to join us, obviously. And uh, yeah, hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, the end of the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.